Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Pascal coin with Supernova. Supernova supports Linux and Windows, but it's only for AMD cards. So I still have to uh, say to people with Nvidia cards, you will have to wait until that comes out. So I'm sorry for that, but for everyone who's using AMD cards, here we go. So the first thing you need to do is going to Supernova, I'll put a link in the description below, and you will need to create an account on their website. So as you can see here in the right corner it says guest, but we need to go ahead and put it on sign up. So now you need to fill out every field and create an account, confirm your email, and then we move on to the next step. So now you created your account and you logged into it, you will see this. My hash rate is zero and everything, so you're on the dashboard right now on the website. What you have to do now is go to help and you'll see getting started over there. Just click it and you will be redirected over here. As you can see here, it says download a miner for GPU miner Windows or GPU miner Linux. So for now I'm going to base myself on Windows because this system is Windows and I think most people do. So now that you extracted it to a map or a folder, you just need to create a new file. How to do this? Just right click inside the folder and make a new text file or text document. We're going to call it start miner and if you see the dot text you just need to make it into BAT because it, we need a bat file, a batch file is running command prompt and it will ask you to change the extension, just press yes and now we have our bat file. So what do you have to do? You have to right click it again and open it to edit. So now it's open in notepad and as you can see it's totally empty because we just created it and we need to go to the website again. So over here you see the command, I will put it in link in the description below too or just copy paste it over there and you need to copy it and put it inside the start miner file. Then uh, you can just save it and if you still see that it's a text file you can always save it as and then just put it dot bat behind it and then save it and it will replace it or make a new bat file. So now that we have that we need to edit one more thing. Just edit again, I'm sorry for that. And what we need to do is create a web login, a worker and a worker password. But for that we need to go back to the website to go ahead and go to my account. Go to my workers and you will need to log in fast before you do. Of course, go back to my account, my workers, and then we need to create a new worker. So we're going to call this uh, worker our test miner and we give it a password that's just going to be password to make it easy and we're going to add the new worker. Of course I'm still mining Ethereum at the moment so I'm going to turn it off so that we can test it just soon. So now I exited the miner and we have our worker login and our worker password. So now we need to go back into this and you'll see that the web login is the same as this. So our web login is buried one as you can see over here. So we need to fill in buried one. Then we need to go ahead and put the worker name test miner and our password is just going to be password, that's pretty simple. And then we're going to save it. So you can just file and save and we're done. Then exit the miner, just close or just put the website down and we can double click the miner. Now we will be starting to mine. So now you're mining with Pascal coin with the RX478 gigabyte. And as you can see, we are increasing our hash rate. So the hash rate is about 500 at the moment. Of course, I'm using OBS, so we lose a little bit over there. But the average, I think, is going to be 537. I'm going to show you real quickly on MSI Afterburner on what settings I'm currently on. But I can tell you, Ethereum is mined with the memory clock speed and Pascal coin is mined with the core clock speed. So if you want to increase the hash rate from 500 to somewhere, I have no idea. Uh, let's give it a try. Let's make it 1250 instead of 1100. 
and we can apply it. So you will see that my power usage will climb up to about 110 watts right now, but we should be increasing our hash rate. So we are currently at 500, 510 mega hashes per second, but to be honest, that's not really a high increasement for 10 watts. So I think that's not really efficient. So it's always important to find the most efficient tuning on your cards when you go start mining on any coin, just to make more profit out of it at the end of the month. Because if you pay really high electricity cost compared to an efficient card, you will always make a little bit more if your card was efficient. So now we're just gonna put it a little bit back down to make it more stable because stability is is above everything to be honest because a stable miner earns you more than a miner that shuts down every five minutes but for now our miner is mining and we should be able to look to our dashboard on how it's performing so as you can see here our hash rate is climbing up and we haven't earned any pascal yet but of course this will change after a while and you'll be making money so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you still have questions just put it in the comments below and I'll try to help you as fast as possible. So, see you guys in the next one.